What's up, YouTube? So, April. Yes, April. We've been having this argument. My man Bruce has a <clears throat> electric mower and weed whacker. And I'm like, yeah, how many times you got to charge that crap up to do your lawn? He goes, well, if I do it real fast in one charge. <laughs> so I said, uh, I pulled out my gas weed whacker. And I'm like, I never have to charge. So, uh, April said, we were at the store, and she's like, can I get a new weed whacker? And I was like, well, what do you want? <laughs> and she chose battery power. <clears throat> and then I had to put it together. <laughs> so, uh, Jude was saying people on my TikTok, and some people on YouTube, say I never show the work. I do that f in most cases for a reason. One, I want you to look for clues in my content uh, on how I do the job without me having to say pull out a Phillips screwdriver, rotate this clip to 180 degrees, remove this fascia panel, pop this clip, do this, do that, do this. And I don't take cars apart and then just gently place them back together like these guys do staged, staged videos where it's already been unscrewed, it's already not bolted in and then they're just you know waving things out of their way and oh magically here how this is how you do it and put it back together i do that on purpose to stimulate your mind it is very 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 seldom that i ever watch an entire youtube video on anything i look for the clues that i need um and maybe it's because of the way that i think or how i see things um but i never watch it start to start to finish even when I am reading wire diagrams and TSBs and all this other stuff, I don't read it start to finish. I speed read through the lines. I look for the important information that I think that I'm missing, and then I, and I, I put the puzzle together. <clears throat> so a lot of my videos are for you to see, right? Just because this is how I see doing a job. So I never did a floor panel on a Jeep today, and it didn't fit perfect. Um, but I made it fit, and I'll, and I'll bring it back tomorrow morning when I get in the shop because I have the urethane drying. Um, I've never done one. Uh, I never did a Jeep Liberty AC condenser. I may have, but I don't remember. Uh, and we have a new guy today, and you know, him and I just started going at it. And I'm like, "Listen, dude, I, I don't have time to stand here going all data, watch a YouTube video, <clears throat> go figure it out." So same thing for him. He didn't read the whole instructions. He didn't watch a whole YouTube video. He took bits and pieces of it along with the way that his mind works and got the job apart and back together. It's not finished. Look for the clues. Um, if you're doing a time and chain job and you've never done one, I'm really not going to advise that you do one or a time and belt job. I'm not discouraging anyone from doing it yourself. Um, that is some, in my opinion needs experience and knowledge so you might want to watch a couple different youtube videos maybe look at the service procedures with all datas or chilton's or whatever it is and then you might want to go and do it um a valve adjustment things that are very very difficult you definitely might want to do that some of the things that i do may seem difficult for people um <clears throat> But then try and use your mind to see around. When I see a car, and I don't go into all that and say, well, how does the dashboard come about? Or how does the glove box come apart? I just go at it because of my experience and the way that my mind sees objects um, and how, how they're assembled and, you know, things like that. And today I did a, a, a Mustang rear sway bar to frame bushings and rear sway bar to axle and rear sway bar links. I've never done that job before. I didn't go into all data. I had a technician start on it, <clears throat> but I wanted to get him moving on another job, so I took over and completed the job. Um, but I've never done it. I never went in all data, and so now you can see how it's done. And I didn't take you through taking it apart completely because it was already apart when I got to it. I just gave you some clues on how to get it apart. And maybe you should have enough knowledge and experience that knowing if you have to work on something, it has to come apart. Um, but look how it comes apart like stimulate your mind challenge yourself a little bit more I guess that's because of my experience I don't really need to see 
see all the details and instructions. And my apologies for the people who need that. <clears throat> because there are some people that need to, to book smart. And then some people who are just... They see it. They don't need books. They don't need someone to tell them what to do. They just can do it. I guess it's a gift you could you could say. Um, it's very, very often, very not often that I ever need to go to YouTube to see anything. <clears throat> and if I'm stuck, uh, I may do that. But my first course of action isn't YouTube. It's uh, all data. Um, and then if that's that doesn't help then I'll, I'll fast forward to YouTube and then I've I've had problems with vehicles that there's no information on YouTube and I figured out and I post that content for you guys uh, but yeah so don't don't get all mad and hate uh, years ago someone said well you didn't show how to take the heater core out or you didn't show how to got the steering column out and then I like I point to the clues I'm like do you see this do you see this or I may not even say that I'll just show you what's missing in the picture and then you're like, oh, he got all that out of his way. You follow me? So, and if you need something, just inbox me. I'll, I'll hook you up.